In today's blog, we are going to continue looking at the linking parameters page. This video will focus on the top of stock and depth settings. The previous videos in this series covered the difference between absolute, incremental, and associative, so we'll only be looking at those parameters in respect to their effect on these settings. From the Mastercam help files, we can read the definition of both top of stock and depth. Top of stock sets the initial height of material in the Z axis, and depth sets the final machining height in Z. When using incremental values for top of stock or depth, these positions will be relative to the Z position of the chained geometry. Also keep in mind that clearance, retract, and feed plane can all be affected by the settings for top of stock. On this sample part, I'm going to start by creating a contour operation to cut one end. Notice I've chained the geometry at the top of the feature. My default settings on the linking parameters page come in as shown. Top of stock is set to absolute zero, and I will need to enter the correct depth for this feature to complete the toolpath settings. However, there is another way. I'll make another contour operation, this time on the other end of the part. This time I will also chain at the bottom of the feature. Now on the linking parameters page, the only setting I need to change is to set the depth to incremental zero. Remember that when depth or top of stock is set to incremental, the value is relative to the location of the chain geometry. Since the chain geometry is at the bottom of the feature, setting depth to incremental zero sets the final cutting depth a distance of zero inches away from that chain in Z. I'll click OK to create the toolpath and notice the result which is the same as the previous contour we made. Using an incremental depth setting is very common practice in Mastercam. Using an incremental top of stock is not quite as common, but can still be beneficial in certain situations. For example, drilling the holes in this part. Some of the holes are on the top face and others are at the bottom of the pockets. If these pockets have already been machined, then drilling these holes from the same Z location as the others will not be very efficient. We could accomplish this by creating two separate drilling operations, one for the holes on the top face and another operation for those holes in the pockets, but we can also save a step and include all holes in one op by using incremental top of stock. I'll create a drilling operation and spot drill all the holes in this part. We can use the same techniques in the previous contour example to set the depths. Since I want the spot drill each hole based on its chained location, a depth of incremental negative 0.1 will adjust the depth correctly for each hole. Since the tops of the holes vary as well, I will set it to an incremental value too. Lastly, to ensure the retracts come completely out of a pocket before transitioning to the next hole, I will enable clearance with an absolute value. Notice the resulting toolpath. The yellow circle is where the drilling operation starts its feeding motion from, and the blue circle is where the drilling op stops. Posting this operation into G-code results in a very simple CAN cycle where only the R and Z values are updated based on the hole being drilled. This concludes our in-depth look into the linking parameter settings.